how you can stop thinking in your native language and then translating and speaking in English. That is everyone's ultimate goal, right? To speak English fluently. How you can start thinking in English? The first step is, if you practice these tips regularly for a week, it's my guarantee that you will start thinking in English in no time. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. In this video, I am going to discuss how you can start thinking in English and stop translating in your head. How you can stop thinking in your native language and then translating and speaking in English. If you practice these tips regularly for a week, it's my guarantee that you will start thinking in English in no time. Now, let's get into today's video. First, let's discuss why it is important for you to think in English. See, thinking is the first step to your language fluency. Do you know how many thoughts on average a human mind gets? Approximately 70,000 thoughts per day. So imagine if at least 1000 thoughts start generating in English, you think in your native language, then you translate and speak, which takes up a lot of your time. You shouldn't be translating in your head. If the thoughts itself start coming in English, imagine how easy it will be for you to speak in English. You need not stop and keep thinking, translating and speaking. It will help you immensely in improving your fluency. That is everyone's ultimate goal, right? To speak English fluently. Now let's discuss how you can start thinking in English. The first step is start small. Think in single words. Everything you see around you, start naming them. For example, computer, laptop, hair dryer, broom, mop, rolling pin, chair, desk, whatever it is, wherever you are. Start with nouns first, then attach verbs to them and start making simple sentences. Start this activity from morning, from the time you wake up. See, you just have to think, so it will not take time. You need not put any extra effort to it. You don't need to take time out separately to do this activity. Let me give you a few examples on how you can practice it. When you wake up, you can start off with, what a nice day it is, or, oh, it's Monday again. Today, I am going to think in English the whole day. I am going to get out of be bed and brush my teeth. I am going to take a shower. I will get ready for the day. When you are getting ready, you can just name the things around you like a toothbrush, wash basin, faucet, bucket, jug, etc. Just don't keep your mind idle. Continue naming everything and adding verbs to it. If you're going out, you can think like this. This is my bike. I'm driving my bike. This is the road. The road has a lot of speed breakers or potholes. This is my helmet. I don't like wearing it, etc. When you're cooking, you can find some object that you don't know what it's called in English. You can search for it, research for it. And that way you can learn and remember new words, new vocabulary. Then you can start framing sentences using those words. The next step is, now that you know many words and sentences, using those words, try to put them into practice. Instead of just thinking simple sentences, start thinking in paragraphs. Try to elaborate it. Try to group the sentences together. You can start by describing your day like this. While going to office, I will stop at a restaurant or a roadside eatery and have my breakfast. I will then go to my friend's house. Why is my friend avoiding me? I need to figure it out. Start thinking in your head. After finishing your day, if you want, you can describe how your day went. You need to describe every minute detail. For example, 
I went to my friend's house at 11 a.m. I drove my bike and went there. There was a lot of traffic. I reached his house in half an hour. I parked my bike outside his gate. I went inside and knocked on the door. There was no answer. I peeped. Peeped is another word for seeing. I pre peeped through the window. He had dozed off in his chair. If a person just falls asleep accidentally in the chair or in a sitting position, you can call it as dozing off. I called on his mobile and woke him, etc. This was just a small example. You can describe in elaborate how your day went and what you did on that particular day. Now, next step. What you can do is, you can watch conversations online and learn how to ask questions and how to answer them. If you see somebody asking a question to the opposite person in a conversation, just pause and imagine if you were in that situation, what would you do? Just think, imagine and speak. For example, if a person asks, who is your inspiration? Just pause the video there and answer the question, whatever you feel about it. And then play the video again and see what the opposite person has replied. Try to learn something from it or you can correct your mistakes or you can feel that you have answered the question better than that person. That will increase your confidence. You will also get new ideas. Now coming to the next step. You can do a fun activity while playing with your friends or you can play dumb charades with your learning partner. Choose any single word and try to describe it in actions. This will persuade you to think of all the words and sentences associated with that word. For example, if you're thinking of the word bread, how will you describe it? Some sentences associated with this word could be it's eaten for breakfast, with tea or as a snack. It is bought from a bakery. It's white and brown in color, etc. Try to use your own imagination in describing the word to your partner. You will get so many thoughts in English. Next step is, what you can do is, you can make notes. You can make to-do lists or grocery lists in English. Write that word in English in your list. For example, if you take chana dal, you want to buy chana dal this time in your grocery, but you don't know what that word is called in English. Then you can think about it. You can do a little bit of research. Once you get the correct word, then you can write Bengal gram. That's what it's called in English. Like this, you will learn all the related words. Another step you can do is you, in order to start thinking in English, you need to keep yourself surrounded with English. So nowadays, all of us are all the time on our phones and gadgets, right? So change the language of your phone. Change the settings to English. All the apps and notifications should be set to English only. It might be difficult for you, but once you start doing it, you will get used to it. Slowly, you will start understanding every, everything. After you do all these steps, you will notice that you are surrounded with English all the time. And in a very short period of time, your thoughts are being generated in English. Please practice all of these steps every single day without giving a break. Do it at least for two to three months and you will notice how this becomes a part of your life, how this becomes a habit to you and how your fluency starts improving. I hope you found meaning in all the tips that I told you. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and very important, please share to your friends who are also in this language learning journey. Thank you so much for watching this video. Take care. I'll see you in another one.